Yeah, I'm Rick Lencioni. Uh, I served with the 101st Airborne Division during the Vietnam War. I was a platoon leader and a company commander in the 501st Airborne Infantry Regiment. Okay, and can you tell me the first time you met Richard uh, Flaherty? First time I met Richard, uh, if I recall correctly, we were on an operation together. We were both platoon leaders. Uh, we were actually in separate companies at the time, but for some reason we were doing this joint operation together. And um, I met Richard uh, during the time that we actually went into a little bit of a stand down in the operation. We had moved into a village, and the two of us were talking to each other about strategy, what we were going to do that night as far as setting up. We had actually fought our way into that village, and so we had a lot of dead North Vietnamese lying around at the time. Uh, we didn't have any serious American casualties from that action, but I got to know Richard a little bit from that. Was there sort of a general consensus with other leadership at that time of which direction to go? Or was it just kind of in each leader's hands on whether we're taking prisoners or...? You had life and death control over everything around you, even as a young officer. Uh, Richard and I were probably close to the same age. At that time I was 21. I'm assuming he was about the same age at that time or close to it. And when you're out there, you're separated from your command structure. And we didn't even have a company commander over us at that time. We were both platoon leaders. But the company, the company commanders involved were off with other platoons doing other things. So in our area, uh, we controlled life and death over everybody around us.